Today's episode is the body. We have so many fun things planned to learn about our bodies. For our craft project, we are going to trace our bodies on a paper and then decorate them. Now with me here today is Kayla and Alex. Are you ready to get started, Kayla? Yes. Great. How about you, Alex? Well, I can't wait. Oh, me too. Now these are the items that you will need. A large sheet or roll of paper, a marker, crayons, ribbons, You'll also need scissors with adult supervision, glue, wiggle eyes, and yarn or string. Great, now let's roll out our paper. Now Kayla, I'm gonna have you lay down first and I'll trace your body. Purple crayon. Okay, lay straight down. Okay. Put your arms down. Perfect, we're gonna start right at your shoulders. Go down your arm. Get your fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Back up with your arm. Go down your side, past your leg, past your knee. Go back up that leg. Come down the other one, and back up that one, past the knee, past your thigh, past your hip. Come down your other arm, and get your other fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Back up your arm, up to your shoulder, and last but not least, your head. Just kind of do this. Okay, let's see how that looks. We'll just fix your neck right here. Finish your head. And let's add some feet. Great. Now let's set that aside. Let's do Alex. Now that we have our tracings, let's roll them out and get ready to decorate. Now you can use the yarn or string for the hair. Just add a little bit of glue or paste around the top, then you set your yarn down. After the hair, we should do the face. First, let's put eyes on our drawings. Now you can use the wiggle eyes, crayons, or, mar or markers for this. So what Alex is doing is putting a little bit of glue or paste where the eyes go, and then she's gonna set her wiggle eyes down. I'm gonna use buttons. You're gonna use buttons, that's another good idea. She's gonna set the glue down and then put the buttons right on top of the glue. Alex is drawing her nose, and then you can either make the mouth smiling with teeth, or you can just draw lips. Oh, and don't forget ears. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, your faces look wonderful. Now let's do the clothing. Now Kayla, she wants to put stripes on her sh shirt. So what she's going to do is use some tissue paper and glue them right where her stripes will go. Now what Alex is gonna do, because she's drawing a sundress, she's going to take the tissues and just bunch them up like this, like a little flower, and add a little bit of glue around the bottom. I'm gonna add a green one. That sounds great too and she's gonna set it down right on her dress. Put it right there. Oh, how clever. She wrote ta da doodle doo on her shirt. Now we could do one more thing with your shirt, Kayla. Maybe you wanna add some buttons to your shirt. Great, we can glue those right there. 
Now we should add shoes because we always wear shoes to protect our feet when we're outside. So what kind of shoes are you going to draw, Akila? I wear sneakers a lot, so I guess I'm going to draw sneakers. Oh, great. And here is a great idea for sneakers. Kayla has some bows here made out of the yarn that she's going to glue on the bottom for the laces and put them right down where her laces would go. Now this is very easy. You could take a piece of yarn and tie it just like you're going to tie your shoe. Just do a little loop there, a couple loops here, and you have a bow for your shoelaces. What kind of shoes are you going to draw, Alex? Um, I'm going to send dress so, so um, I'm going to draw sandals. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, now you can either have a grown-up cut out your drawing, or you can hang it up on the wall just the way it is. Great job, Kayla and Alex. I think you captured exactly who you are. Oh, I know what that sound means. It's time for Imagination Station. Let's go see what Penny has for us to imagine today. Welcome to Imagination Station. Today, we're going to use our imaginations to play a really fun game with our bodies. First, I'm going to get my magic bubble gum. And I'm going to give you a piece, Austin. Thank you. You're welcome. And one piece for you, Alex. Thank you. And one piece for you, Rachel. Thank you. And one piece for you, Megan. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's look at our magic bubble gum. What color is your magic bubble gum, Austin? Green. Green. And what color is yours, Alex? Blue. Blue. What color is yours, Rachel? Well, mine is three colors. Mine is white, pink, and green with a little sparkle. Wow. And Megan, what color is your magic bubble gum? Purple with a little speckle white. Wow. Mine is rainbow colored. Oh my goodness. Now let's put it in our mouths and chew it up with our lips closed, of course. Mmm. What flavor is yours, Austin? Strawberry. Strawberry yum. What flavor is yours, Alex? Mint. Mint is a good flavor. What flavor is yours, Rachel? Well, mine is mint. Mint too. And what flavor is yours, Megan? Strawberry. Strawberry, wow. And mine is chocolate chip cookie dough. Now let's blow the biggest bubble that we can. Are you ready? <sighs> Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum makes my hands stick to my eyes. Uh oh, oh, I can't see anybody. I, I hear you talking, but I don't see you out there. Is anyone out there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we better pull our hands off. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ugh. Oh, hey, now I can see again. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Makes my hand stick to my tongue. Tongue. It doesn't sound like this. This isn't a good thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's blow it off. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, that's so much better. I couldn't even talk with my hands stuck to my tongue. Ew. Ew. Now our hands and our bodies are all sticky. sticky. It's a good thing that I have my magic soap. soap. Here's a piece for you, Austin. You. You're welcome. Here's a piece for you, Alex. Thank you. And here's a piece for you, Rachel. Thank you. And here's a piece for you, Megan. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see if we can remember what parts of our bodies got sticky so we could wash them off. Eyes. First, our eyes. Good, let's wash our eyes. Oh, it's a good it's thing it's magic soap. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't burn. Now, what did we get sticky next? Tongue. Our tongue. Good thing it's magic soap. Let's wash our tongues. Mm. Mm, not bad, huh? Wow, that was great, everybody. What a fun game to play at home with your family and friends. And remember, when you use your imaginations, anything can happen. Someone's at the door. It's time for On Our Block. I wonder who's visiting us today. Every week, we are going to have a visit from someone on our block. This is a great opportunity to meet and learn about the people in your neighborhood. Now, who is going to visit our block today? 
Oh, hello, it's Dr. Heller. Dr. Heller is a pediatrician. Now, who knows what a pediatrician is? Rachel. It's like a kid doctor. That's, That's right. Funny. Dr. Heller knows a lot about our bodies. Dr. Heller, why don't you tell us a little bit about what a pediatrician does? Well, a pediatrician takes care of boys and girls from the time that they're born all the way up to when they go to college. And we take care of them when they're well and when they're sick. Great. Does anyone have any questions for Dr. Heller? Oh, Rachel. Yes. Is it scary going to the doctor? Well, yes, I think it is. I think the first time you do anything, it can be scary. But after you come to the office and you get to know the doctor and you see the nurses and you know the secretaries, it doesn't seem to be nearly as scary. Kayla. What kind of things do you use when you look at kids? Oh, well, have you been to the doctor before? Yeah. What's one of the things you've seen the doctor use? A tongue depressor. Oh, well, okay. Can you smell that? What does that smell like? Great. That's right. Well, a tongue depressor is one of the things that a doctor uses to look into a mouth. And we have a light. And would you open your mouth real wide? Oh, that's very good. Now, if you can't keep your tongue all the way down and we need to look in the back of your mouth, then I have to unwrap the tongue depressor and I put this deliciously flavored grape stick on your tongue and I look in the back of your throat. Now, one of the other tools that we use is the same instrument, and I call these doctor toys. And this is called an otoscope. And we use this to look in your ear. And we put a little tip on it, like this, and then we look right in your ear like that, but all the way down, but I won't do that today. Now, the last tool that the doctor uses is a stethoscope. And I'm sure you've seen this, and the doctor uses this to listen to your heart and your lungs. So those are three of the tools that the doctor uses. And should my mom take me to the doctor? Well, I think your mother should take you to the doctor always when you're sick. And secondly, when we have what we call regularly scheduled doctor visits, when you have to have checkups. And those occur when you're very, very young, so many months apart, and when you get older like you are, about once every year or two. Yes? How can I stay healthy so I don't have to go to the doctor? That's a really good question. Now, I th think there are three things that you can do. One is to eat well. It's very important to eat a balanced diet that you get from your mom and your dad when they serve you your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's to eat your fruits and your vegetables and your meats and a teeny weeny little bit of dessert. The second thing you can do is to exercise. It's important to keep our muscles fit and to do as much exercising as we can. But the most important thing to do is to wash your hands because on your hands there are germs. So any time before you eat, it's important to wash your hands so that if your hands get into your mouth, you won't have any germs on them. And then it's important to wash your hands, of course, every time after you use the bathroom. Yes? I don't like shots. Why do I have to get them? Well, I don't blame you for not liking them. But shots are important because the shots have medicine in them which keep very bad germs out of your body and keeps you from getting sick with a very bad disease. So sometimes a little ouchie can go a long way to keeping you healthy for a very, very long time. Wow, thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Heller. Kids say thank you to Dr. Heller. Thank you, Dr. Heller. Well, Thank you. I hope you will invite me back sometime. I enjoyed it. I hear music. Let's go hop and bop. Hi, Hi, kids. Are you ready to hop and bop? Yeah! Great. Today we talked about our bodies. Let's see if you can remember our different body parts. What am I pointing to? Hey! Good. How about now? Eyes. How about now? No! Great. And what's this? Chin! Very good. Let's sing about our bodies. Here we go.
Come along, everybody, and follow me. Pointing is easy as you will see. So come on, and you'll find it's easy as can be. When we all point together, now so point with me. I'm pointing to my head, I'm pointing to my head, I'm pointing to my head, I'm pointing to my head. So come on, it's easy as can be. When we all point together, now so point with me. I'm pointing to my eyes, pointing to my eyes, I'm pointing to my head, I'm pointing to my head. So come on, it's easy as can be. When we all point together, now so point with me. I'm pointing to my mouth, I'm pointing to my mouth, I'm pointing to my nose, I'm pointing to my head. So come on, it's easy as can be. When we all point together, now so point with me. I'm pointing to my feet, I'm pointing to my mouth, I'm pointing to my nose, I'm pointing to my head, so come on, it's easy as can be. When we all point together, now so point with me. When we all point together, now so point with me. Now let's see what our bodies can do. Our bodies do so many things that help to make us grow. Each part has a special job, that's something we all know. So now let's see what hands and feet and eyes and ears can do. And don't forget about our mouth, that's very special too. What can we do with our hands? <laughs> Clap! Snap! Those are great ideas! Let's sing. What can you do with your hands, your hands? Oh, what can you do with your hands? What can you do with your hands, your hands? Oh, what can you do with your hands? Oh, I can clap, 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 and I can snap, snap, snap. I can catch and I can throw. When somebody passes by, then I can wave hello. That's great. Now, what can we do with our feet? Who knows? Stomp! That's a good idea. Kick! Let's do it! What can you do with your feet, your feet? Oh, what can you do with your feet? What can you do with your feet, your feet? Oh, what can you do with your feet? Oh, I can walk and I can jump, I can kick and I can run. I can skip and I can dance and really have some fun. Woohoo! Alright! Now, what can we do with our mouths? We can talk. We can chew. That's great. Let's do it. What can you do with your mouth, your mouth? Oh, what can you do with your mouth? What can you do with your mouth, your mouth? Oh, what can you do with your mouth? Oh, I can smile and I can frown. I can talk and I can sing. I can drink a glass of milk and eat most anything. Wonderful. Now, what can we do with our eyes? We can see. What can we do with our ears? All right, here we go. What can you do with your eyes and ears? Oh, what can you do with the two? What can you do with your eyes and ears? Oh, what can you do with the two? Oh, I can use my eyes to see. I can wink and shed a tear. My ears help me listen to everything I hear. All right. Last time, let's sing about what our bodies can do. Here we go. Our bodies do so many things that help to make us grow. Each part has a special job, that's something we all know. So now we know what hands and feet and eyes and ears can do. We won't forget about our mouth, that's very special too. We won't forget about our mouth, that's very special too. Wow, all that singing and dancing has made me hungry. I wonder what we're having for Super Snack today. 
Today during Super Snack, we are going to be making cheesy faces as our special snack. Now with me here today is Rachel and Gage. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. yeah! All right, great, me too. But you have to remember before we start, it's always important to wash your hands and your fruits and vegetables before you begin. Now first, you will need a circle cookie cutter to cut out a circle. Now if you don't have a circle cookie cutter, that's okay, because as you can see, Rachel and Gage have a lid and a cup that you can use. So go ahead and make your circle and your cheese. Mm -hmm. And you are going to use these as the faces. Be sure to hang on to your extra piece because we can use that for later. Okay, now that you have your circle, you'll then have an assortment of food items you could choose from to use as the hair, mouth, nose, and eyes. So Rachel, what kind of fun things do we have to dress up our cheesy faces? Well, we have yellow squash, and we have some raisins, shredded carrots for the hair, all the slices, some flower seeds, and cherry tomatoes, and blueberries. Mmm, those all sound yummy. I can't wait to see how my cheesy face turns out. Now, Gage, why don't we start with the hair? What color hair do you want to use? I'm going to use um, carrots. Okay. Oh, good job. That looks great. Now, Rachel, how about you? What are you using? I'm using blueberries for the eyes. Okay. And a raisin for the nose, if you would pass okay. it please. Thank you. This is a good one. And a red apple slice for the mouth. Okay. Now, when cutting your red apple, it's important to have a grown-up do that for you. So what you'll have them do is just cut a thin slice, just like that, and you can use that as the mouth. Thank you. Oh, that looks great. Now let's get some eyes for you. What eyes do you want to use for yours? Um, apples. Okay, great. Now let's remember you have to have a grown up cut your apple for you. Get two slices like this. There you go, these are your eyes. And what would you like to use for the nose? Um, um, raisins. Okay. There's your raisins for you. How about the mouth? What do you want to use for the mouth, Gage? Um, raisins. Okay. Well, that looks great. And I will use an olive slice for my mouth. And I think I'll do raisins for my eyes. And a cherry tomato for my nose. Okay, now I think we're missing one important ingredient. Do you think we should do some freckles? Yeah. Yeah, what, what should we use for the freckles? How about sunflower seeds? Great. Good idea. And I'll put a little bit on mine. That's my nose. And go ahead, Gage, and you can grab some freckles. Wow, these cheesy vases look delicious. I can't wait to eat mine. How about you guys? Yeah, me too. All right, but before we eat, let's clean up. So let's put our apple back in here. I'll hold this for you, Gage, and go ahead and grab the apple. Put it right back in there. And Rachel, if you can put this tomato back in there for me. Okay, we have everything cleaned up. Oh, and we have extra pieces of cheese. What should we do with those? Maybe I'll use mine for my hair. Okay, how about, you wanna do a hat? You wanna make a hat with yours? Good job, that looks great, Gage. We are all set. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Me too. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Mmm. These cheesy faces are delicious. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for Super Snack. 
Up next is Molly Manners. She's going to teach us how our bodies and our manners go together. Hi, Hi Molly Manners. Hi Gage. Hi Megan. Hi Alex. What have you been learning about today? We've been learning about our bodies. Oh, our bodies do so many wonderful things, but sometimes we have to learn how to use our bodies to show good manners. For example, when we sneeze, ha choo or cough, <coughs> we should always cover our mouths by using a tissue. What should we not use? My hand. Good. My shirt. That's right. Using a tissue is very important so we don't spread germs. Yes, we should also use a tissue when we blow our noses. Never stick your fingers or anything else in your nose. Hmm, what about washing our hands? We should always wash our hands when we got a cold. You're right, very good. What else should we remember about our hands and good manners? Keep your hand to yourself. That's what my teacher always says. That's right. Our hands should not touch things that they are not supposed to, like people, other people's food, or toys and things at the store. What about when we eat? How should we chew our food? Always keep your lips closed. Always keep our mouths closed. That's right. It's very important to chew with your mouth shut so everyone else doesn't have to see your food. Should we put anything else in our mouths except food? My baby brother uses a pacifier. That's okay. Some babies need to use pacifiers. What about big boys and girls like you? Um, my, I, I, I use this on my front when I was younger. Because my, but I, my mommy told me I had to stop, so I stopped. Right. Sucking your thumb would hurt your teeth. Your mommy is very smart. Hmm. What about burping? Is burping a bad manner? Because sometimes I do it and I don't mean to. No, burping is something we all do. But what we need to remember to say is, excuse me. This shows people that we have good manners. That was wonderful, kids. Thank you for helping us learn how our bodies and manners go together. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Let's go sing our goodbye song with Penny. ta da doodle do ta da doodle do It's time to say goodbye. Two.